The Walking Dead universe needs no introduction, and it was quite an exciting prospect for the fans when The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon entered the arena. The spin-off project boasted of solid thrills and horror vibes, and we were also presented with a storyline that held a lot of promise. At the heart of the new story is a character named Laurent Carrier, who might well be the messiah who shows humanity the way out of the apocalypse. There have been multiple factors that have led to this notion, and in this video, we will explore every single detail about the possibility of Laurent being immune to the virus and his special status. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Who is Laurent Carrier and how can he become the primary protagonist of the franchise? Laurent Carrier has easily been one of the most important characters in The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon, and there have been enough hints to suggest that his story arc can go on to become even more important in the near future. He's a young boy aged around 12 to 13 years, and he's one of the many survivors in the post-apocalyptic world filled with the undead. He was born on the 28th of August 2010, and his mother lived Lily had an affair with her sister Isabel's boyfriend, Quinn. She went into premature labor by two months, and this happened to coincide with a monument day, where zombies overrun the world. Lily tried to find safety and sought refuge with Isabel at the Abbey of St. Bernadette, but she was bitten by a zombie on her arm and died from the infection while she was in labor. Quite miraculously, Laurent was born normal following a post-mortem cesarean, and he was seen as a special child by his Aunt Isabel and the nuns who raised him. They believe that Laurent could be the one destined to deliver mankind's relief from the crisis, and they thought he was immune to the virus because of his special birth. Thus, he was treated as a child prodigy who can lead France to the other side of the apocalypse. However, the ones who raised him chose to refrain from telling him his harrowing origin story, but he still finds it out later after overhearing a conversation. Did Laurent survive his near-death experiences with the walkers because of his special nature? While some are a bit too blinded by the notion that Laurent has some special immunity against the infection, the young boy did have some nail-biting run-ins with the walkers. When he first got to know about his real mother and how he was born, he was upset about the information being kept from him all these years. He stormed off to the Eiffel Tower and ended up among a large group of walkers. He seemed quite vulnerable, and it might have been the end of him had it not been for the ones who went after him. They fended off the walkers, and quite unexpectedly, Laurent's father, Quinn, also showed up and saved the day. He had yet another encounter with the walkers when he was suddenly attacked, but even then, he could fend off the attacks. That being said, there has been no clear evidence to suggest that his special nature is what saved him from the walker threats. One can argue that fate is by his side, but the gift of luck is not the same as being immune to the virus, and there is no conclusion inclusive proof of that yet. Is it only his potential immunity that makes Laurent special? This is one of the most important questions to be considered while we are talking about Laurent playing a critical role in the future of humanity and the franchise. His potential physical immunity to the virus is not the only thing that can be called special. He's also a talented young boy with several special quirks, and the nuns at the Union of Hope also believe in these special skills. In the very first episode of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, Isabel told Daryl about a prophecy of a Buddhist monk who foretold that Laurent would one day become the savior of humankind. He would be the one to protect the world from the uncontrolled zombie outbreak. And clearly, the series has taken this prophecy very seriously. There was also a hint about Laurent being able to see into the future. In one instance, Laurent drew a picture of Daryl washing up on the beach even before he showed up. And even though one could call this a coincidence, it could also be a sign of his special abilities. He's also extremely intelligent and wise and his wisdom and maturity seems to be beyond his actual age. Overall, he's certainly different from an average kid of his age, and even without the subject of his physical immunity, he can stand quite uniquely in the crowd of survivors.
why Laurent could actually be immune to the virus. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Could Laurent actually be immune to the virus? Or is it just a gimmick to keep the viewers interested? Well, there are certain things about his birth that do point to the possibility of something unique in this regard. For instance, when he was still in his mother's womb, she was infected after a zombie bite. Under normal circumstances, he wouldn't have survived. And even if he did, the chances of him turning out normal would be nearly zero. We've never experienced a scenario before where a walker gave birth to a human baby, but Laurent is definitely an exception in this regard. Thus, there's always a chance that his body developed a certain natural immunity to protect him from the virus. If that is indeed the case, and his condition is exploited scientifically, he could be a valuable card in the fight against the worsening apocalypse. What makes us think he might not be immune to the zombie virus? It does seem quite promising to have a premise where someone is completely immune to the zombie virus, but things are easier said than done. The hints thrown up in the series might be far from reality because his miraculous birth might not be a suitable reason to call him immune. Also, it's worth considering that the Walking Dead franchise has never really explored the concept of immune characters in its long history. Even Robert Kirkman had earlier shot down similar suggestions. And you know, it might just turn out that Laurent is not as special as Lunion deems him to be. He might still have answers to the apocalypse, but not because he's immune. If he's indeed put to a test, we could have some clarity in this regard. Even though the test of getting him bitten by a zombie to see if he's immune seems a bit too extreme. Is it time that the show made a decision about Laurent? So far, it has been somewhat uncertain, and there can be arguments both in favor and against the proposition that Laurent has some special physical condition that allows him to be immune to the virus. And, you know, if that is indeed true, he can well become the key to the Walker situation, getting better with time. However, if the show drags it for far too long, things might start to be annoying for the viewers. We have all loved his salvation arc, and the idea of a kid rising from the ashes and, you know, becoming someone significant is something everyone enjoys. But it's high time that the show took a decisive stance on this character. We have had plenty of what-ifs and some aspects of the story have started to seem a bit too extreme. For instance, the ritual of infecting him with a walker bite seems somewhat unnecessary as they could simply test his blood in order to look for any special qualities. One way or another, the show needs to handle this possible immunity and do it fast because people might slowly be losing interest if it's dragged even longer. At this point, we all need some clarity on Laurent for us to remain invested in the story. Marvelous Vernon, a promising idea that needs to be used right. As a fan of the franchise, it's always exciting to find out something new or unusual that we are not used to in the long run of the series, since this is the first time that there is a genuine possibility of someone who is immune to the zombie virus, there might well be light at the end of the tunnel. In this context, Laurent could be an absolute game changer, and the future of the franchise might be dependent on him big time. On the other hand, all the major suggestions regarding Laurent's special nature have been purposely kept vague, and as we have already discussed in the video, it might end up being a deal breaker for many if it doesn't have a meaningful conclusion. We hope that the makers give this a thought, and maybe we can see the franchise moving towards a positive direction courtesy of Laurent. And that ends our video. Don't forget to tell us in the comments below what you think of Laurent and his role of a messiah in the story. Do share your thoughts on whether he's really immune to the virus or he's simply going to be an important political figure going ahead. And if you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!